What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video and in today's video I explain what completion marks are. Before I start the video I just want to say thank you everybody for all the crazy growth and all the crazy interaction on the channel. If you guys are new here, after watching this video please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting to help me with the algorithm. Also if you guys want to be a bigger part of the community please consider joining the discord down in the description below. Let's get right into the video. So what are completion marks? So completion marks are the marks that appear on the tiny piece of paper on the top left hand side of the character selection screen. These marks appear on the paper that's sometimes referred to as the post-it note and denote which bosses you've beaten with a specific character. Let's talk about what each of these 12 marks mean. The first completion mark that I'm going to talk about is Mom's Heart slash It Lives. Mom's Heart is the first boss that goes towards your completion marks. She can be reached after beating Mom for the first time. Mom is the big foot boss. Mom's Heart slash It Lives is denoted by a heart on the post-it note. Next we have Isaac. Isaac is the boss of the cathedral floor which can be accessed by getting an angel deal after the Mom's Heart fight. If you have beaten Mom's Heart 11 times and have It Lives as the Womb 2 boss, the cathedral beam of light will always spawn allowing you to fight Isaac. Satan is the boss of the Sheol floor, which can be accessed by getting a devil deal after the mom's heart fight. Similar to how you get to Isaac in Cathedral, once you have It Lives as the Womb 2 boss, the Sheol trap door will always spawn, allowing you to fight Satan. Blue Baby is the boss of the chest floor, which comes after Cathedral, which can be accessed by having the Polaroid and entering the chest at the end of the Isaac fight in Cathedral. To get the Polaroid, you must beat Isaac five times. Once the Polaroid is unlocked, it will always spawn at the end of the mom fight. The Lamb is the boss of the darkroom floor, which can be accessed by having the negative and entering the chest at the end of the Satan fight. To get the negative, you must beat Satan five times. Once the negative is unlocked, it will always appear at the end of the mom fight. Next we have Megastan, which is a story boss that can be fought on either the chest or darkroom floor. To unlock his gate at the first room of these two floors, you must have beaten the lamb or blue baby in an earlier run. To enter this gate, you must have both key pieces, which are obtained by blowing up two angel statues and fighting Uriel and Gabriel in a single run. Boss Rush is a special room that appears by beating Mom within 20 minutes. The Boss Rush door spawns once the condition is met and contains four item pedestals. Once one of these items is taken, you will start fighting 15 waves of bosses, two bosses per wave. Hush is the boss of the Blue Womb floor, which is unlocked by beating Mom's heart 10 times. The door to Blue Womb appears if you beat Mom's heart or it lives within 30 minutes. Inside the door is a trap door similar to those seen at the end of the Mom fight and the Womb 1 boss. Once entered, you will drop into a large room with four chests, two item rooms, and a shop. The door at the top of the large room takes you to the hush fight. Ultra Greed is the final boss of the second game mode, Greed Mode, so you get this completion mark just by beating him at the end of the mode. Delirium is the boss of the Void Floor, which is unlocked by defeating Hush. To get to the Void Floor, the player must enter the Void Portal, which can spawn in multiple rooms during the run. The chances of the Void Portal spawning are as followed. 5% after Mom, if you have 10 damage and 20 items. 10% after Mom's Heart slash It Lives. 15% after Isaac or Satan. 20% after Blue Baby or Lamb. And 50% after Megastan. The only guaranteed way of getting the portal is by going to Blue Womb and defeating Hush. A door at the top right of the Hush room will lead to a room with the Void Portal. Mother is the boss of the corpse floors, which can be reached by obtaining both knife pieces. One on Downpour 2 and one on Mines 2. If you want a more detailed explanation on how to get the knife pieces and going to Mother, go check out my other video on how to beat Mother. Once you have both knife pieces, you can go to the mausoleum floors. At the end of mausoleum 2, you will fight an alternate mom. After beating mom, a womb texture door will appear, which can be entered by hitting the door with the knife pieces. In this room is an alternate mom's heart. Once beating mom's heart and leaving the room, the trap door will take you into the corpse floors. Beast is the final boss of the home floor, which can be reached by taking the strange door in depths 2. The strange door is unlocked by defeating mother and requires having either the polaroid, the negative, or the trinket faded polaroid a more detailed explanation on how to enter strange door can be found in my how to beat beast video once you enter the door you are taken to the mausoleum floor at the end of mausoleum one the boss room will only have an item pedestal in it once the item is taken you are teleported to the ascension floors make your way through these and you will reach home and can fight dogma and the beast that right there wraps up all of the bosses on the completion marks but there is one more topic that i need to talk about which is the bloody marks 
By beating each of these bosses in hard mode, you are able to get the bloody completion mark. The only bosses with unique hard mode unlocks are Mom's Heart slash It Lives and Ultra Greedier. Ultra Greedier is the final boss of Greedier mode, which is unlocked after donating 500 coins to the Greed Donation Machine. In addition, by getting all hard mode unlocks as all non-tainted characters, you unlock the Mega Mush item. And by getting all character hard mode unlocks, you unlock the item Death Certificate. Finally, I'm going to talk about important unlocks. So there are five important unlocks that you need to know about when doing your save file. The first is beating Isaac with Blue Baby. This unlocks the D6, which allows Isaac to start with the D6 item. Next, by beating Isaac with Keeper, this unlocks the Wooden Nickel, which allows Keeper to start with the Wooden Nickel, which is a very important item because it allows him to have more health more often. By beating Satan with Isaac, you unlock Mom's Knife, which is arguably one of the most OP items in the game. Beating the Lamb with Isaac unlocks the Missing Poster, which is needed to unlock the Lost. Finally, beating Ultra Greed with Azazel unlocks Lilith. If you want more information on how to unlock all the characters, go over to my How to Unlock Lost, Keeper, and Forgotten video, which shows how to unlock every single character. There are a lot of other great unlocks you can get by beating certain bosses with certain characters, but the ones I've listed are the ones you need the most for getting your completion marks and your save file done. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed that, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe on the video because that helps me a lot with the algorithm. If you guys want any other future content like this, just leave a comment down below to tell me what kind of content you guys are looking for. As always, guys, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.